High expectations can often be a shortcut to bitter disappointment, and after seeing Celeste in previews, my expectations were pretty darn high. And then came the review scores, which were outer space high. Yet during the nearly 10 hours I spent playing through Celeste, each daring leap of faith led me to one unavoidable conclusion. Yes, this game really is that good. You play as Madeline, an intrepid explorer determined to climb a dangerous mountain using nothing more than a few simple maneuvers. At the beginning, you can jump, hang onto walls, and well, that's it. Despite this simplicity, or perhaps because of it, Celeste is able to draw you in immediately with its brief, impeccably designed platforming challenges. Most of them take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes to complete. After just a few of these areas, and as the game introduces new mechanics like a double jump ability, springboards, and a celestial jelly that lets you traverse without the pull of gravity, it becomes evident that each area in Celeste is as much a puzzle to be solved as it is a test of your platforming skills. The hook of this game is figuring out how to get from point A to point B, or how to grab that seemingly impossible collectible using pixel-perfect jumps, grabs, and dashes. On many occasions, I would enter a new area and blurt out in futile defiance, are you effing kidding me? Only to experiment for a few minutes and eventually bask in my own success. It's incredibly rewarding, and despite the fact that you'll die hundreds, if not thousands of times in this game, it's never frustrating, thanks largely to frequent autosaves and lightning quick respawns. This satisfying loop of self-doubt followed by triumph is irresistible, and it's what makes Celeste fun. But the true brilliance here is that this cycle so perfectly reflects the emotional struggles of the main character, Madeline. She's fearful and unsure of herself, yet determined to reach the mountain summit and overcome her inner demons along the way. As you struggle to see your path forward, she struggles as well. As you find success, so does she. Her story, which covers themes of depression and anxiety, is brought to vivid life by superb writing. The poignant dialogue in Celeste ranges from painfully cutting to utterly adorable, and it's almost always relatable. The more I progressed, the more I could see parts of Madeline in myself. There was one moment, for example, where she was truly scared, and rather than power through like most heroes, she succumbed to the fear. Her admission of defeat was so honest and vulnerable, it not only brought me to near tears, I thought that if I'm ever scared like that, I should be as honest with myself as she was. I don't know about you, but life lessons aren't exactly what I expect from a 2D retro platformer. Yet there I was. As I pressed on, I couldn't help but feel like my decision to complete Celeste was inextricably tied to Madeline's determination to persevere. It's a level of connection I've rarely felt with a video game character, let alone one that's made of a few dozen pixels. Cranking up the emotion was the sound design. While the music is great and features a retro yet modern feel, it's the sound used for the voices that caught me by surprise. Each excerpt is accompanied by a blabbering sound effect reminiscent of the effects heard in old school platformers like Banjo-Kazooie. Except this game manages to do what those games never could. Instead of sounding goofy and well annoying, the voices in Celeste are cute, charming, and somehow manage to convey each character's emotional experience. Of course, for a challenging game like Celeste, none of this would matter if it didn't have impeccable controls, and Celeste mostly does. The only parts I found aggravating were those that required precise and direct up, down, left, or right inputs, as opposed to the diagonal inputs used throughout most of the game. To solve this, I decided to switch to the Pro Controller. The traditional D-pad is far superior than the Joy-Con's four-button configuration, and the ability to switch between this and the analog stick made things much easier. It's how I'd recommend playing the entire game, and it's also worth mentioning that this was the first Switch game I found best to play using the Pro Controller, but on the small screen instead of my TV. Being able to easily keep an eye on the entire screen gave me a degree of situational awareness that made the tougher levels just a little bit easier. But if you think Celeste still sounds too tough, the game does feature an assist mode that lets you adjust elements such as the game's speed and the effectiveness of Madeline's abilities. It's a nice touch, especially since it will give players who are turned off by tough-as-nails gameplay a way to enjoy this tour de force. And if you need a reason to re-experience Celeste, or if you're just an old-fashioned completionist, oh boy, has Celeste got a few surprises for you.
There are literally hundreds of collectibles, dozens of secrets, and some truly surprising and fun Easter eggs. And then there are the B-sides, alternate versions of each stage you can unlock that are even more difficult and feature even more collectibles. And that's not to mention that every stage records your best times and your number of deaths, making this a paradise for Twitch streamers and speedrunners. In other words, the value here goes well beyond your initial playthrough. Considering that Celeste mimics 25-year-old graphics and explores rather simple gameplay ideas, it's amazing how far it jumps ahead of its contemporaries, especially when it comes to storytelling. I implore every gamer to play Celeste, but particularly if you enjoy a good, heartfelt narrative along with addictive, rewarding gameplay. Don't let the retro stylings or difficult challenge turn you off. This is a game you must play. Well, thank you so much for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. And if you want to help grow my channel, all it takes is clicking that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.